Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 17th of June. Getting set for a blistering hot weekend, but uh, today just still maybe we'll get some rain. In fact, uh, oddly enough, it's raining in spots early this morning. A little surprise here. Let's take a look at some of the sky cam shots early this morning. First off, downtown Fayette. Uh, the sky mostly cloudy. We'll head down south. That's the uh, Demopolis sky cam in Ringo County. And a look at downtown Mobile from the battleship USS Alabama up in the northern part of Mobile Bay. The core of the heat is still back over Texas, and we've still got this uh, kind of disturbed northwest flow aloft in progress and across the uh, state this morning. And goodness gracious, look at that. That's uh, the radar at 5 o'clock, and uh, we've actually got some pretty good rain falling over parts of Tennessee and uh, the Tennessee Valley. We had some storms after midnight last night affecting parts of North Alabama. Those have pretty much dissipated, but uh, that stuff is in the process of falling apart. But, uh, you know, really initially our forecast had mentioned only a few isolated storms today, but considering the fact that there could be a pretty decent outflow boundary from this stuff, just maybe uh, we could see a, a little better coverage of storms than originally thought this afternoon. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll take all the rain we can get. Look at highs yesterday, and yes, we were in the 90s. Uh, and the really hot weather is back in Texas. Looks like the heat there peaked at 108 in West Texas. Coolest air is up in the uh, northwest right now. There's the watch warning map. we got flood wa uh, watches and warnings up across the Dakotas and parts of Montana and Minnesota. And in terms of organized convection, the uh, primary risk today will be over the nation's breadbasket out there, parts of Missouri and Iowa and some of the adjacent states. And tomorrow couple of slight risks, again, well to the north. There's the QPF chart, and this takes into account the rain last night and each showers today. This is valid through uh, Tuesday evening of next week at 7 o'clock. And really after today, things look pretty dry, so uh, at least through Tuesday of next week. But just beyond that, things could be perhaps uh, providing a better opportunity of rain over the latter half of next week, as you'll see. And the tropics for now are quiet, but again, there's some evidence we might see some backyard mischief in about a week or so. No you know, big storms or hurricanes, but just maybe some type of wave down there that would really be beneficial. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. Look at that little Vort Max around Chattanooga. Uh, again, the 588 ridge is suppressed a little to the south, and down below that, uh, no doubt we'll have to mention scattered showers and storms today, maybe hitting it a little harder than we did uh, last night. And uh, temperatures, I think, will be in the 90s, although I note the NAM is showing a high of only 89 today. I don't believe that, but uh, with some morning clouds and morning showers and maybe an afternoon storm, just maybe somebody somewhere will stay under 90 today, but don't count on that. All right, tomorrow, here comes the ridge building, getting stronger. Uh, mid to upper 90s, same thing on Sunday. Although this run is not as strong with the ridge as recent runs. And, you know, there's always the chance of a pop-up storm somewhere. But with that uh, ridge, they should be few and far between. There's Monday. Look at the trough coming in from the west. That's a severe weather look for the uh, uh, high plains out there. And Tuesday, still the ridge is in place here. Uh, deep up or low over Nebraska. And, again, that's a severe weather look for parts of uh, Missouri and Iowa. That could be a pretty big uh, severe weather outbreak up there. Down here, it looks just hot and dry. And then Wednesday of next week, the ridge is just slowly getting beat down. We'll start to phase in the chance of scattered storms. And there's Thursday, nice trough to the north. Hey, hey, and look what's going on here. Uh, the ridge has a nice weakness in it. Look at the tropical low down there near Brownsville, Texas, and all that moisture beginning to move northeast. And Friday, ah, surface low, a little better organized. Good moisture here. Saturday the 25th, a tropical blob approaches. And on uh, the 26th, that's on the central Gulf Coast. And so, you know, again, the door is certainly open for tropical moisture, a weakness in the ridge, a better chance of or a better coverage of showers and storms toward the end of next week and that following weekend. So let's hope that indeed happens. Then the end of the forecast on uh, July the 2nd, almost the 4th of July. 
Look at that big upper low just west of Seattle, but uh, the 588 Ridge is a story down here. Moist, that just means scattered showers and storms out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.